Hey everyone, Clayton here at eTrailer.com. Today we'll be taking a look at the Thule Camber 4-Bike Hanging Bike Rack on our 2020 Jeep Gladiator. So you might be asking yourself, you know, why do I need a bike rack if I have a truck? But if you're taking a road trip or camping or anything like that, you can put everything you need in your bed and then hang your bikes off the back of your vehicle and leave some extra space. Our bike rack is going to work with an inch and a quarter and two inch hitch receivers. So it'll be pretty versatile if you have different hitch sizes for different vehicles. And we will be able to take up to four bikes with us on the trails. Our bikes are going to mount here on the frame. There's three points of contact. We have this one here, this one here, and one down here around the back of our seat post. So it is pretty solid on our rack, but if you have a carbon fiber bike, you do want to keep that in mind. We do have a 37 and a half pound weight capacity, so you wouldn't want to take an e-bike or a fat tire bike, anything that's going to be really heavy, but it works out great for our road bikes and some lighter mountain bikes. To remove our bikes, we push this tab here and pull our strap out. And you'll repeat that same process for our other hooks. With our straps undone, now we can lift our bike off of the rack and hit the trail. When our bike rack isn't in use, we go ahead and push our straps back in. You just don't, don't want these flapping around when you're not using them. One really nice feature of our rack are these rubberized mounts where the bike sits. So you don't have to worry about it scratching our bike. To lower our bike rack, we lift up on this gray tab. As you can see, there is an arrow. With our bike rack lowered, we can shake it around and make sure it's in the lock position. This is a hanging bike rack, so we do have a little bit more clearance when the rack is in the upright position, but I'll go ahead and get some measurements for you with it down. From the ground to the bottom of our rack is about 16 and a half inches, and from the ground to our rack here is about 16 inches. You just want to keep that in mind if you're going anywhere that has kind of bumps or trails, just so that we aren't scraping our bike rack. The measurement from our bumper to our rack here is about two and three quarter inches. We'll go ahead, take a measurement from our tailgate to the end of our rack. We're looking right at 45 and a half inches. When the bike rack isn't in use or after you've taken your bikes off, if you need to get in your bed, you just lift up here and tilt the bike rack down. That'll give us enough room to access our tailgate. With our tailgate back up, we can go ahead, lift up on our bike rack, and you hear it secure in position. That way we know it's locked. Our rack is secured into our hitch receiver with a bolt. You can see it right there. It is a three quarter inch head. And what that does is it keeps our hitch from rattling around. And it's a little bit harder if somebody tried to take this off of our vehicle because not everybody carries a socket set around. In my professional opinion, I do like this rack. I prefer a hanging rack, especially on something like a Jeep. because so we do have a little bit more ground clearance. We don't have to worry about our, scraping our rack on the ground. And this is a little bit lighter and easier to move around. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. That's pretty much gonna do it for a look at the Thule Camber 4-Bike Rack on our 2020 Jeep Gladiator. 